Hey friends, today we are hanging out at my favorite antique mall and we are going to be looking for some Disney and Universal Studios theme park props along with any other really awesome antiques that we can find, maybe even some movie props and it's always amazing the things that you can find down here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Anywho's, let's go do this. There are hundreds of different vendor boots inside the antique mall and if you guys see anything you like in this video I'll put all the information in the description below so if you want to reach out and contact the antique mall you can actually purchase it over the phone. Something that is really cool that I know is actually down here right now is a lot of props from the Shrek 4D attraction at Universal Studios Orlando that recently closed and I'm sure some of you have seen uh, the props that actually landed in Williams of Hollywood prop shop inside Universal Studios Orlando but these ones were actually sold off before they can even make it to the prop shop so these are very hard to come by and some of the good stuff the really really good stuff Wow, there are so many amazing items here today. I can't wait to go around and show you some of the cool things. And some of the prices are marked, so I'm going to try to tell you uh, all the prices for it. But if something's not marked, you can always call down here to Lakeland Antique Mall, and they'll tell you how much like each item is. And like I said before, lots of cool Shrek 4D items. Stuff that is super rare, and I'm excited for that. There is a little bit of everything here today. A little bit of Universal Studios, a little bit of Disney. They have props from Hogsmeade in Universal Studios. Of course, the Shrek 4D props, Halloween Horror Night props. There's so much to take in. So I think we'll start with the Shrek 4D items because I think that's the coolest right now. And then we're gonna make our way around. If you've ever been to the Shrek 4D attraction, in the queue line they had these uh, kind of banners here that were kind of making fun of Disney a little bit. And it's kind of funny because everything is in like the Shrek universe. So you have Lord Farquaad's Enchanted Tick Room, and then of course you've got Donk Bow. And over here you have great moments with Mr. Farquaad. And these are so awesome. They're very big, massive, and they're selling for like $2,000. $2,000 for great moments with Mr. Farquaad and then Donkbo and I'm not sure how much the Enchanted Teak Room is. This is $3,500 but they're, they're massive and so cool. Once you get inside the attraction they have a little dungeon down there and here are some of the amazing like props from there this one is a Pinocchio animatronic that was actually hanging upside down and his nose actually comes out whenever he made a lie and this was so good this was in the pre-show and this is super super rare $7,500 for this and then they had uh, the torture chamber here that was hanging in the corner you've got Pinocchio up there along with the three little pigs you've got the bed of nails these are like, I love it. I'm like so excited for this. All this stuff is like for sale. You can buy this and have a little piece of Shrek history. $3,500 for the, mor the murder board. And then this one is uh, $1,600 for the bed of nails. And I told you Pinocchio is $7,500, but it is so cool. It moves. And like I said, his, uh, his nose comes out. Here is a closer look at the Pinocchio uh, when it was in use inside the pre-show. Let me know if you guys remember that. I forget what he says that makes him like tell a lie and then his nose grows. I'll have to look up a video and see what he says, but it was really funny and this is an iconic piece. And honestly, if you're a big fan of Universal Studios or Shrek, $7,500 isn't a bad price. Some of you might have seen that they have the Shrek 4D glasses for sale in Williams of Hollywood and they're selling for $5. They have them here too that they're selling for $5, but they actually have the holders for the glasses and that is, that's really cool. Look at how cool this is. Want it. Ogre Vision glasses in the bin, please. And then look at Shrek right there. The whole like uh, bin itself is selling for $800 and they have multiple ones here, but look at all the glasses. Isn't that like so, it's so nifty. I really do just love all of it. Right next to the Ogre Vision return bin, they have a prop from Poseidon's Fury and it's a staff from the show. So if you actually see him holding the staff right there, this is it right here. $95. That is so that is so cool, isn't it? 
Okay, wow, this next piece is super cool, and I love it because I love Harry Potter. Right here is a wood beam that was used or was going to be used inside uh, the Hogwarts castle uh, at Universal Studios Orlando. So how cool is that? This is like a gigantic piece of like wood prop for the Hogwarts castle and it's only for $95. So I love it. Like, <laughs> wow. For people that were fans of Halloween Horror Nights and especially the Beetlejuice house, they have the grass from the Beetlejuice. I love it because I always just wanted to touch this grass and it's selling for $75 and they have a couple of these too. So this is the grass from inside the house and it feels so cool. A couple more things from Beetlejuice. They have the uh, spears, actually, the spearheads from the Dante's Inferno room. And these are really, really nifty. These are $95 and they have a couple of them. Like there is so much going on back here. It's hard to take everything in. And if you guys ever come down to Lakeland, Florida, I highly suggest coming in and checking it out because as much as I wanna show you everything, I am gonna miss like some items and there's so much in here. There are some items that I find and I immediately gasp because they are so amazing. And this right here is something It's just, I, I, I don't have words. I don't have words at all. This is a piece of Illuminations Reflections of Earth. October 1st, 1999 to September 30th, 2019. The Closeout Crew, thanks for everything. And this is some of the lights. How crazy is that? I love this so much. This was a cast member award for people who worked on uh, Illuminations. $395 for this. Oh, it's going a little blurry. $395 for this. I love it. Really, really breathtaking right here. The Illuminations piece is something that I really want to get. $395, but Wow, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's a cast member award, so they gave it out to the cast members that were working on that project or working on Illuminations before it ended, and huh, that's crazy. So that little tiny piece is, I, I would assume it was from the lights. It could be from the earth or the globe itself, or it could be from the other barges, but wow, that is history right there. Something I almost missed actually is this big banner sign that says presented in Ogre Vision and this actually hung right below the big Shrek 4D sign. I'm going to try to show you guys where I'm talking about right here, but it was so, so cool right here so that big banner was right below the 4d and i'm not too sure what it's selling for i think it's selling for two thousand dollars two thousand dollars oh they also have this gigantic banner side over here and this is shrek and donkey don quixote <laughs> don quixote here are some really cool Star Wars uh, props. These were from Disney's Hollywood Studios, and this was for Star Wars Weekends. And I love this. Look at this. You got Darth Vader, and you got a Stormtrooper up there. These are really, really cool. This was to promote Star Wars Weekends and Star Tours 3D, and I love it. I'm trying to see what's in his hand. It looks like they're both holding some books. <laughs> that is so cool. And I, I don't know the price. I can't see the prices for those, but I like it. As you can see, there's a big variety of different things here. We're going Shrek 4D, Halloween Horror Nights, Harry Potter, Star Wars, and princesses. Like, there's a lot. Like, there's so many different items in here. And there are tons and tons of boots. And I love coming down here because it always changes. Every single day, there's something new or there's something gone because people buy it. And when I was talking about princesses, I wanted to show you guys the uh, Cinderella bathrobes from the uh, Cinderella Royal Suite that you would get when you actually stay there. I showed you this before over at Forever, uh, Forever Vintage, but they have some down here too because I know they might sell out. And these are $295 and we got some pretty princesses over there as well. Here is another cool piece. This is a uh, ottoman from the Port Orleans princess rooms at uh, Port Orleans. And this is selling for $425. But look at that. Doesn't that look so royal? Like <laughs> royal? And then over here, one of my favorite 
bars at uh, Universal Studios, Shea Alcatraz. This is the sign that actually hung out front and it's $1,200 right next to the Jaws himself. This is a cool, cool piece of history for Universal Studios though. I have to tell you, I love it. Let me know in the comments if, um, put money to the side, if you can have one item that I'm showing you today, let me know which one you would pick. I mean, I would honestly, I would probably say the Shea Alcatraz sign for me. I love it. That is something really, really fun. But also, I might want the Enchanted Tick Room because I think that sign is cool. And it's kind of a play on Disney too, you know, so you get the best of both worlds. Over here are some really cool uh, resort pictures or some artwork and I love this one. This one is uh, a picture that they have at the boardwalk and you can kind of see like uh, what Cinderella Castle would be behind the carousel itself. This is a really amazing piece and they're selling this for $495 and then over here this used to be the uh, train at Fort Wilderness. They had this inside uh, the Fort Wilderness rooms and this is selling for $1,200. And then they have the Animal Kingdom Lodge Hakuna Matata uh, pictures and this one's selling for $499. And that is really, really cool. I mean, these are all amazing, but this right here, I love it. I love this. I have this in my house. I'm sure you guys have seen this many of times. This is from the All-Star Movie Resort, and I just love Mickey Mouse. And you guys know I love, uh, <laughs> uh, whatchamacallit, Sorcerer Mickey. So this was $199. Ooh, I'm going to get excited again. Look at the Hidden Mickey Saratoga Springs mirror. $299 for this. This is so cool, though. Wow, I love that. Here are a couple of the Minions props that they have at Universal Studios. Villain Con right here, and I love how they have the banana right in the middle where Orlando is in Florida. I'm gonna peek over there and see how much that one is, but they also have these ones down here, and these are $150. That's really, really cool. So let's peek on over here and see what this one is. I think it's uh, just about, $195 for that as well, but it, it is really it's really nifty This next piece is kind of a mystery, but it looks so cool and so vintage But really don't we don't have much information about it So if you guys know anything about what I'm about to show you Let me know in the comments because I would love to hear a little bit of a backstory of where it was at or what they used it for Disney sold this off and it is a vintage table that was used in the uh, Magic Kingdom and they use this uh, as like display and it's got some nice craftsmanship to it it's definitely very old and it opens up look at that but I don't know what they would have used it for and it's selling for $150 it's it's in rough it's seen better days but I think it adds to the antique faction you know I like it I'm pretty sure I just made up that word. Antique faction. <laughs> like it's not, I don't even know. Sometimes when I'm just talking, I literally will just like say words and put them together. Kind of like Michael, like Michael Scott with uh, spider face. Like I, I feel like <laughs> I just kind of make these things up. Here are a couple of Disney Resort lamps. These are from the Grand Floridian. These are $149, and I kind of like the base here. This is really, really nice. Ooh, a contemporary resort phone. That's awesome. You know, I love my phones. I have one from All Stars, but this one's from the Contemporary. That's really cool. This is $45. And then these are Polynesian lamps from the Poly. They have a couple of ones over here. This is another uh, Grand Floridian uh, lamp there. And I like it. Oh, and this is a Polynesian desk. This is really cool. Has a little hint of Mickey right in the center here. Here are a couple more of the Halloween Horror Night props. And I love these. Some of these are from the Scarecrow stock. That one was from Men in Black. And I still love Michael every time I see him up there. That is so cool. And then we have the Leprechaun in the back there. Frankenstein. And uh, I love it. Like, these are all so amazing. These are... Definitely something kind of cool to say that you have. And I don't know if those are like little fairy demographs or I don't know what those are. Demogorgons? Demogorgons. <laughs> I call it demograph. This is a demograph. <laughs> 
another cool thing that they always have down here is a lot of Christmas decorations and whole like Christmas trees from the different theme parks and even some from the resorts and uh, it's not Christmas season yet but some people like to stock up and get ready I think I actually might be getting a Christmas tree from down here to put in my living room this year so I can kind of keep in the theming of my house being all like theme park props and there's a lot to choose from all of these Christmas trees are from the different parks. Like I know this one's from Universal Studios. This one is from the Polynesian. Yeah, this is a, one of the Polynesian uh, Christmas trees. Here's a gigantic Polynesian wreath. Like that's really, really awesome. This hangs out in front of the old uh, Porter Corche at the Polynesian, $279 for that gigantic wreath. And some of these are from Universal Studios. This is a Harry Potter Christmas tree from Harry Potter. Then there's Jurassic Park. There are so many different ones. I love it. It's really, really cool, especially for the holiday season. This is kind of cool because normally when you look at a bunch of different furniture, you would just think it's furniture, but uh, knowing certain items is kind of cool because you can point them out and be like, hey, that's awesome. That's from Epcot. And it kind of just happened right here. Here is a bunch of different furniture and it's all different items from the different theme parks. Like for instance, these are Nickelodeon Studios uh, chairs that actually spin around and that's really cool because Nickelodeon Studios used to be at Universal Studios Orlando. And then over here, these uh, rows of chairs right here are from Epcot in the American Adventure. Like, isn't that so nifty? I remember these chairs and I remember sitting on them and they're only selling them for like $30. They're, they're very sturdy chairs. And this is a Polynesian Resort chair. I, I like it, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't know that this is from Epcot unless you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you know, you know. Here are a couple of chairs from one of my favorite restaurants at Walt Disney World, Disney's Ohana. Look at that, $175 for the chairs from uh, Ohana. And I like the back sides of them too. You can see it down here. This is amazing, wow. Tucked back here in the corner is something really awesome for the NASCAR fans out there. If you guys recall, they had the Richard Petty driving experience at Walt Disney World, and they have this gigantic banner for it. But down here, they have one of the jackets from the Speedway itself. So you would wear this as you actually drove in a uh, NASCAR. Isn't that so cool? Like this was such a cool thing and sadly it is no more. Now it is Magic Kingdom's parking lot. But this was a cool experience that I never got to see or got to do. The jacket itself is only selling for like $500 and I think that's a good deal because that is that's definitely something that is very hard to come by because it doesn't exist anymore. If you're looking for other props, uh, this booth itself is uh, vault collectible, so you can always reach out to them or Lakeland Antique Mall, and I'll put this information in the description below. They have a Facebook and an eBay store as well, and I, I, I love it. Like I said, you really find some amazing items. I always love looking at these as well because it's really cool. These are signs that they used to put out front of the attraction to let you know that it's not working. And this one's from E.T. Isn't that so cool? We're sorry, E.T. Adventure is not operating due to preventative maintenance. And they're selling for $199. And they have a couple different ones here. They even have Disaster. And I think I'm gonna go check that out right now. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? This is a no longer attraction look at this isn't that so cool this is something that is no more r.i.p disaster here are a couple of really vintage epcot items that i love you might remember this character from captain eo this is so cool and it's a little plush and then a couple of uh characters from the kitchen cabernet we got uh, veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit, veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit. Ooh, and then look at this. This is a dinosaur toy. This is so cool. I love this and it actually says countdown to extension. So this is super old, but I love it. There are a couple of other cool Disney items over on this side I want to show you. And like I said, I just kind of love exploring around and finding things. That's the best part of it. It's kind of like window shopping, but like thrifting, you know what I mean? But thrifting for high-end theme park props. Valentine's Day just recently ended, but take a look at this Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color Valentine's for Boys and Girls sign. I love it. I love things like this because it's so like vintage. But this is so cool. 
and it's hard to preserve because this is like cardboard so like this doesn't hold up uh in time and this is 85 dollars very very fragile though same thing goes for these old dolls over here like snow white and then you got dopey over here and then how about this advertisement for the mickey mouse club sneakers this is really really awesome i wonder how much this is oh 295 dollars but look at that it comes with the shoe and everything watch mickey mouse club on tv featuring pf flyers that is that's a cool piece here is a good collection of cast member coats from the parks. This one is from Disneyland and it's $325 and it's a size medium. But this one back here is from MGM Studios. This one is so cool. This is, I think, a large or an extra large, $325 for this. I love this one though. I love the fact that it's MGM Studios. And then you had a 50th anniversary Disney one back there. These are so cool though. One of the stands I always want to point out in here is Melly's Remarket. And she comes up with some of the best artwork I've ever seen. And she kind of takes things uh, and gives them a new look. And I love it. Today I feel like she has truly outdone herself. Especially with this haunted mansion picture over here. Look at this. It's going to be hard to see with the reflection, but this is the uh, blueprints for the Haunted Mansion, New Orleans Square. And she made this like beautiful frame with a little bat key on it. And this is amazing. Like this is so, so, so good. And she makes this stuff. So she's selling this for $185, I think. Let me see. Yeah, $185. I love how it says Wed Enterprise. This is, that's a really cool piece. And then you can see a couple of other ones. They have a map of Walt Disney World there, Harry Potter, Star Wars. These are so amazing. She's, she is definitely very talented. Here is her information as well. So if you do find something and you uh, want to check it out, you can either contact her through this or like I said, just reach out to the Lakeland Antique Mall. Look at this really nifty Star Wars piece over here. This is Star Wars Celebration, and this is from Europe, 2016, 2016, Star Wars Celebration, July 15th to the 17th. This is selling for $100. I like that though, that is really nifty. Here are a couple of really awesome pieces from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. And these are also really awesome for people that are Disney Vacation Club members. And I like how I said these are really awesome for people that are awesome Disney Vacation Club members. <laughs> I don't even know why, but these are really nifty. These are pictures from the Disney Vacation Club Animal Kingdom Lodge Annex. And it's really nice because it's a picture of Kidani. Uh, and it says, no matter how long the night, the day is sure to come, June 29th, 2009, and I love it. These are $195, and then they have a couple more pictures over here. This is from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge construction team opening day. Look at that. So cool, and I love the frames on it too. The artwork is just, it's really, really nice. Well, this is kind of random, but also really cool. And this is Universal DreamWorks. And this looks like it was a, like a, a, an award, but for Publix. And it's got a bunch of Universal and DreamWorks movies on there. And that is so cool. Look at, right on the bottom. Publix, thank you for your support on a record-breaking fourth quarter, 2001. $100 for this. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but I love it. Look at these classic Disney cookie jars. We have Donald, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie. These are so cool. I think they're cookie jars. That's what they look like. Yeah, they are Disney classic Goofy treasure craft Mexico cookie jar. <laughs> this is, these are, these are phenomenal. $150 each though, but I love that. That is really, really cool. And with that, I think we are done here today. I love coming out shopping. It's always fun to see all these amazing props and just being like a little bit like versed in kind of like prop culture. You know what I mean? Knowing where certain things are. So it's always a learning experience for me. And I'm so honored to be able to show it to you guys. If there's anything you guys want to buy, you want more information, like I said, I'll put all the information in the description below. And for me, uh, I think I'm leaving with the ET sign. I really love ET 
GT and uh, I think it would be a great addition to my collection and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! You're coming home with me!